It is now time for the Giovanni Mansion. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, plus patch 10.5. We want two things out of here. We want the Giovanni book for Pisha, and she's going to give us an enchanted item. And we want the uh, enchanted item that is in the building itself. So we, we will get two enchanted items out of here. There's also a book. So uh, I was going to call it a skill book. Um, let's see, which one is it? I can't remember which one it is. It's either melee or... No, it's not firearms. Or dodge. It's melee or dodge. So just persuade your way through those guys. Very easy. I'm going to take a moment and... Um, yeah, you can go through. I think it's there, but we're not going to do that. You can also go in there and fiddle around. Stealth kill people, take their weapons. We're not going to do any of that. Uh, I'm going to talk to this girl. Try to get her to give me a quest. This is the quest where you have to spend... I think it's 16. You need 9 persuasion to, to get the max XP out of this. But the max XP out of this is maybe 3. I think, total. It's not worth it. And I don't think there's anything else that you need 9 persuasion for in the game. So I'm not worried about it. Yeah, I'm not... No, we're not going to do that. Actually, only 12. Only 12 XP. But I'm going to spend that 12 XP on... Uh, yeah, I, th I think... Yeah, I think very soon, if not already, um, I, I think I'm about to play the point into uh, that's going to take range to size I can take it for right now uh, until I get the book, firearms book, and then all of the points after that go straight into fortitude and presence, hopefully getting them to four. So that's the plan. When I fought these two guys, you know, the boss fight at the end, in the previous series I had three in Presence and three in Fortitude, but I did not have defense of, I think I'm going to have defense of 12. Yeah, so, yeah, I did not invest as many points into attributes and abilities at that point. Okay, so she's going to give me a $100 one experience point. I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to get out of here. But yeah, I, it's either 12 XP or 16, and this is just, it's not going to happen. Yeah, it's 12. Okay, it's 12. 12 XP is what I need to get the uh, two more XP from this quest and pass it. We're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to put it into Perception, which is going to give us you know, a incredible killing power at this point. And I'm just going to persuade her to take me where we need to go. We don't really need her. We, we can do everything without her, but... It, it's fine. We have persuasion plenty high enough to do this. Yeah, and I really could put another point into uh, fortitude, but we don't need it at all, as you're about to see. Okay. Yeah, we're after this we we uh, will get a point in scholarship after a conversation and immediately after this and we'll be able to read both of those books. So we have a book that's going to give us a a stat. Point 
want to pick up the Giovanni book. Oh, we got another experience point. Very nice. A very quick conversation. And you can just pull the handle and that you saw sparkling right there. Yeah, and this is why I brought the Glock. I have a lot of bullets, and I think this is the last quest for the Glock, I think, off the top of my head. So yeah, I have like 180 bullets, and it's going to go into my Foot Locker. And uh, there's the item. Yeah, it really doesn't matter how many bullets we use. We're we're not going to be able to use them all. Yeah, and this weapon uh, is great against zombies. I call it the zombie killer. But from here on out, it is it is inadequate. It is it just doesn't have enough power. So this is, I think, the last mission. Okay, this is the item that gives me the extra point every time you're awarded three or more points of experience. The three points have to be awarded at one time. It can't be a quest that gives you one, one, and one, or something like that. Um, it has to be, you get three points. That three becomes four, six becomes seven, and so on. So, yeah, pull the handle. These gates come up, and we'll go to the right, and there's less fighting. Actually, there's no fighting if you go to the right until you get to the little room. Okay, that's if you fall down, that's a way to get up out of the lower area, I think. But that's a lot of fighting. Yeah, if you go to the left, there's a lot of fighting too. We have 158 bullets, and we have, I think, three zombies to kill. Okay, there's a little room with something in it, but it's actually next to the... To where the quest is, it's not one of these doors, as you'll see. But I'm just checking. Yeah, how can something have this many sides? Okay, here we go. The door to the right of this... There used to actually be a woman there. Maybe she was a ghost. I'm not sure. Something was there. It's not there now. Okay, I just go into the corner. Quickly shoot these guys. Might as well get headshots. And then I want to try out... I just want to show you the 50 cal. This is a mid-range gun. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good gun. It fires fast and 
yeah it does the job so very nice and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reload this wonderful uh, Glock it has been a great weapon but I think that's it I think we're done I'm double checking to make sure my weapons are full and I have a plan to hit to hit these guys at slightly longer than Uzi range so we're gonna use this weapon because this weapon is good at at uh, mid-range, short range, mid mid-range, and actually pretty good at long range. So this is going to be a better weapon. Yeah, we get them to tell us that uh, there's a that there's a treaty or an agreement with um, Ming and Lacroix. Okay, we have 19 points, and I could put something in fortitude, but I I know I don't need it. We have combat defense of 11, and. Yeah, when I hit fortitude, that'll be thirteen. Okay, we have to get we have to get suited up. Yeah, I came down this corridor because these guys like to, as you know, they like to fly around and, you know, transport, and we're not going to have that. They're going to come straight at me down this hallway. Yep, one of them is half dead. We're down to our last 240 bullets, and we have no damage. Okay, I have presence ready to go again. As soon as he gets near me, I'm going to hit him. Hopefully it'll stun him. Yep, hit presence. He, he didn't even make it. This is why I'm using this weapon instead of the Uzi. But yeah, that stunned him. That's pretty cool. Fortitude on, Presence on. Now keep in mind, they're doing two points less damage when they swing. And I have... Do I have 11 or 12? I, I forgot if I have 11 or 12. Plus Fortitude. So, yeah, but he's not even hitting me now. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted this weapon automatic just to stagger him so that he would... Uh, teleport out, take a po couple points of damage, teleport out, and I just, uh, you know, rinse and repeat until he's dead. Yep, experience of four. So this is uh, Tiger's Claw. I like that. That's really cool. That's a, um, you know, brawl weapon. That's very neat. Come down, touch this thing, and we're good. Great animation. Still holding my weapon in my hand for some reason while I'm carrying heavy weight. But hey, vampires, supernatural power. Not a problem. That was a very easy fight. Ventrues are tanks. Okay, quick save before conversations, always, always. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. But we're a Ventru, we don't get our hands dirty. Get our hands dirty? That's unthinkable. Yeah, I don't think you get anything for any of the other um, 
responses. If you do, let me know, but I don't think so. I think we come over here, and this is where... This is what I've been looking forward to. We're going to get a one point in scholarship. The only thing we have to do is get him, ask him about himself, and then he's going to say, tell me about you. And we're going to say something about being a scholar, and that's it. You get the point. There are other options. You can get something other than scholarship if you want, but uh, I've never considered it because scholarship is going to give me, allow me to read two books right away, and I need nine to be able to read uh, Dodge and Firearms, which are two points that I really want from books. This is really neat dialogue, but basically I'm fast-tracking through it because all I want is uh, just to get the quest. Okay, you saw it flash the stat increase, and we're going to go outside to do this. I'm not going to do it here. Yes, it was quite an expensive ordeal. At the end of that, I said, I want to talk to LaCroix. You have to say, I want to talk to LaCroix. Uh, then you come over and talk to LaCroix, and you get two persuasion checks, and you get... $500 and then $200, $700. It's a big, big bump in cash. And we're going to go spend it right now. We're going to go spend this cash. Well, not all of it. We're going to go spend some of it. Okay, we have four in dodge and four in melee. And there we picked up the fifth and final point in scholarship. We're done. So we just read those two. Yep, now we're at 12 combat defense. That's remarkable. Okay, with melee going up, that's that's pretty good damage for those melee weapons, and I can drive that up with blood buff. Okay, this this is uh, we can fast track through this. So we got the key of Alamut and an experience re another experience point. So all of our soak ratings went up by one. 
That's really, really good. Yeah, look, look at the character sheet. I mean, this is almost completely filled out, and I have 26 points to spend. And we are going to pick up a bunch of points. So, by cutting back on points that I spent last game, uh, four years ago, the, the last series, well, actually wasn't the last series on YouTube that I did. Okay, she gave me some more money, that's good. It wasn't exactly the last series I did. The last Ventru uh, series that I did, I was able to scrounge points so that my character sheet looks, I think, just as good as it did with the book Lich four years ago. I couldn't do things like waste 12 points to pass the persuasion check in the Giovanni Mansion but who cares? Save 12 points. So I cut points um, everywhere I could. I have less in uh, stamina um, than I had last time. I have less in strength. I mean, I just cut points and, um, you know, put them into my combat skills and it's working out absolutely just great. So hope you enjoyed that and um, yeah. Uh, our Ventru is just getting stronger and stronger. I'll see you next time.